<laughs> Most miserable bloody sailing I've ever done anywhere in my entire life that last four hours. One week in and the pain continues for the six boats racing in leg two of the Volvo Ocean Race. But the weather system that's been holding the fleet in its grip for the last few days seems finally to be loosening. This is the line. This is the line that we have literally been chasing now for days. And this has been some of the worst, most frustrating sailing any of this group of human beings has ever done in their lives. I don't mind to tell you. Taking the conservative option and sticking with the competition, Puma and Kampa are within sight of each other to the east and in the middle of the race course. Their plan, break out of the light winds and be first boat to the stable northerlies. Right on the wheel. Now daily we swap this between these two times, but at the moment they're now both this a little to the left and we've worked ourselves to the right, Probably so down a couple of it, it all works out right. We should gain on them like they have done to us, so it's kind of like uh, just a roll reversal. We've been waiting for Team Sanya's navigator Axel Magdal to come up with something special and at 0720 UTC on the 17th the Chinese boat took a hard left turn and headed north. We're going this way and Abu Dhabi are over there going that way. North, Axel's got a bit of a track record of going around the top of the low pressure system. Jules is feeling the heat right now, he's 50 tomorrow as well so he's got a lot on his mind. It's going to be anarchy. With the possibility of either a huge gain or some tough conditions off the coast of Madagascar, Abu Dhabi Ocean Racing navigator Jules Salter explains the risk. Uh, and also this isn't, this will probably happen, but the exact shape of it when it happens is something which is notoriously unpredictable. It's quite a risky manoeuvre, but if it comes off, it'll probably be two or three hundred miles ahead. Team Telefonica, falling in line behind Puma and Camper, seem happy to wait for an opportunity. Hot topic on board the boat, the big game between the Brazilian team Santos and Spanish favourites Barcelona. I'm Brazilian. I've been a Santos fan since I was a kid. You can't hate it. Out of respect for my wife, it has to be Barcelona. Groupama's decision to head south meant sailing further but in stronger winds. Having crossed the front, they now try to rejoin the fleet. Navigator John Luke Nelias describes the complicated break. We were slamming quite badly in changeable conditions. The wind got on the wrong side of the sails twice. It took us a long time to get sorted out. So it's one boat trying to get north, four boats trying to get east, and one boat that can't seem to make up its mind. Campers Will Oxley has the final word. I don't think this leg's actually going to be decided until the last few hundred miles, so um, it's going to be a busy, when we got, I reckon, 10 or 11 days more <laughs> we'll be here for Christmas.